Minasan konnichiwa, this is David, and tonight I am reviewing the Lightning Weapon System Mark II, uh, the Lightning Back Weapon System. This is the upgrade for the Lightning Gundam, um, the mid-season upgrade um, that turns it into the Lightning Full Burnin, or Burnern, I don't know, it's, yeah, Vernier, or whatever, it's, um, it's not a very good translation. Um, <coughs> but, so, this is, this is the kit. Um... For a basis of comparison, this is the original, mm. um, the Mark One Lightning Back System. It has less doohickeys. It definitely has less doohickeys by a pretty significant margin. <laughs> um, now this one, just to remind, um, this part pops off and it becomes the shield for mm -hmm. the lightning. Mm -hmm. um, and then this folds in and mm -hmm. it becomes a backpack. It's pretty simple. Mm -hmm. um, this thing comes down, um, this thing pops out, it and becomes I a backpack. If I remember correctly, the backpack is too heavy for the robot to hold. It's pretty heavy. It's difficult. Um, it's not necessarily that it can't hold it. It's that um, the waist is very weak. I had some problems with the lightning. Um, it's its waist is very sort of soft. That poly cap doesn't hold very well. So it'll pop back and it'll just kind of fall off. That stinks. Um, the um, skirts just sort of fly wherever they want to fly. I did optionally nip those and separate them, but I do that on every single gun plot I do, so um, that shouldn't be a problem. The head also tilts and doesn't really like to stay in one position. Um, so it's everything on it, as you see, I just fell down there. Uh, everything on it is sort of on a hair trigger. Um, the knees are a little weak. Um, and it, it doesn't like to stand up very well. It's not a very poseable kit. I would have to do modifications to make it so. He's just a delicate flower. He's very delicate. Um, just like just like his creator, Yuma. Mm. Um, okay, so to get into it, um, this is the, the this is the weapon that comes with it. The, this is actually the original sniper rifle that comes with the Lightning Gundam. Mm -hmm. You pop that part off, and. This is the sort of weird railgun plasma gun thing that comes with it, um, and it slides on in its place. Ooh, more guns. Um, excuse my gate nubs there. I uh, was actually I did it all by hand. I didn't use nippers or anything. Um, it was just a sort of freeform build. I'm still waiting for that to be a joke in build running gun or build. Someone doesn't product. file their gate nubs. Yeah, and then they make fun of them. You know, that'd be yeah. great. Until you, um, until you get cut with them, at which time you realize they're very effective weapons. <laughs> uh, so, That's the robot's gimmick. He cuts you with his nubs. Yeah, that would be awesome. So anyway, there, there's the weapon. I think it actually looks pretty cool. Um, it's actually it's sort of reminiscent to me of the um, the recent Wing Zero RG expansion pit bit. Um, it's got a sort of like railgun thing going on. I think that's actually what it's supposed to be. I don't know. Anyway, the backpack. Mm. Um, the backpack is a transformable backpack. Yes. Uh, as it stands, you can knock this thing back. It turns into a tail, effectively. You kick these back, and then you have that post there. You just pop it on um, the lightning's back, and it just goes on like that. Mm -hmm. Pretty simple. Mm -hmm. Now, the other thing that it can do, though, um, to sort of transform it is these things pop off. Mm. Theoretically. Ironically, they're tighter than the lightning gun them there, so. <laughs> That's what she said. Don't ever say that. <laughs> I totally will. <laughs> this is a show about children, okay? <laughs> okay, and then those pop on there, and they become basically flush pieces, mm. um, which is kind of cool. Mm. Um, now, whenever you do that, these will go down. Wait, I'm sorry. Did you say you put this together by hand? You popped these out by hand? Yeah. Without any... Yeah. What is wrong with you? Um, I don't know. <laughs> that would have hurt so it bad. It did, a little bit, but, you know, I it's it's pain for my art. The man what it is. into toys. Yeah. And as you can see, the waist just popped off while I was just trying to put on the backpack. After all of the suffering that he goes through for you, this is how you repay him. Yeah. So, I'm gonna pop that waist him. back on. Um, and... He um, doesn't really, <laughs> those, <laughs> those knees don't really want to stand very well. Um, actually, okay, oh, he's balanced temporarily. Temporarily. Let me grab, let me grab a, a base <coughs> to put him on um, because he doesn't really want to do anything like that. And you mostly he just looks at the ground so, sadly. Yeah, which is, which is pathetic. 
<laughs> you know what he looks like, right? He looks like a, you know, little kid in elementary school here with the backpacks that's way too big and way too heavy for him. Just sort of slogging his way through with his head down. There we go. Okay, so now he's on a base. Uh, actually, much, much better. He, I mean, he's a he's a space-type mobile suit. He's not really made for ground fighting anyway, so that's his excuse for kind of sucking in that regard. <laughs> Friggin' space noids. So we have um, these cannons up here, which are now affixed to his shoulders. Mm. Um, and those holes are the right size to fit beam sabers. Ah, um, so you can actually put a beam pew saber pew. in there to make it look like he's pew-pewing. Um, <laughs> it's a technical term. He doesn't come with them, so no. you'll have to you have to sort of add that part yourself. Gee, because you don't have a million extra beam sabers. Yeah, beam that. sabers are one of those things that if you have even a few gun ply, you have extras. Um, Hundreds. Yeah, we have way, way too many. Um, so anyway, since this uses his um, cannon from um, the original build, mm -hmm. you can actually pop that into his thruster things there, and it attaches. So he doesn't even need to hold it, but he can hold it. Um, now it looks much, you know, prepared Action or something. Action-y. Yeah. Um, yeah. Now the backpack itself, it's huge. It's um, it, like I, it's on this base, but it wants to fall backwards. Yeah. Um, it really does. The base is going to keep it up, but it. And having the big gun in the front probably helps too. Yeah, it's it's giving it a little bit of balance at least. <laughs> you um, just got to give him two giant sniper rifles. That's the problem. Yes, apparently. Actually, I'm going to pop on his shield. Or for... see if like maybe the Hiyakushiki's uh, cannon. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but so I think it actually improves upon the Lightning Gundam a lot, even okay. though the stability is not very great. Mm. I think the look of the Lightning Gundam is definitely improved because the Lightning Gundam was kind of a little bit like Meh. generic, yeah. a little bit like milk toast. Um, but this is, this is really kind of exciting. I really like the build. Um, it, it looks still cool. It doesn't feel crazy artistic to me though. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Which, um, you know, if you follow the story is, it's a little weird because, you must supposed to be this great builder, uh, and it doesn't really, it doesn't really fit that. It's um, it's cool, but it's not amazing. Where's know? the metallic? Yeah, yeah. So, um, but you don't even have to put it on the lightning gun. Um, that's that's just an option. The box suggests what the like the. Um, it has a picture of the strike, the rouge, strike rouge, and it looks beautiful on the strike rouge. Actually, um, I'm I wish I had another HG strike rouge, but I um, lost my only one, so I, that means he's gonna go buy one. Just so. You know. Yeah, it does. It it probably does. It's a beautiful kit though. So yeah. I get it. Um. Will it go on the bear guy F? Um, I don't know. Let me let me find out. Um, <coughs> let me find out. So I don't think we have an instruction bear guy yet. Well, that's that's a shame. I'm sorry. The baby really loves the bear guy family, and thus played with my bear guy f into pieces. Yes. So these um, they're actually really easy to transform. Um, it's mm. it's a pretty simple kit. It's nothing complicated. I think I built it in like five minutes, ten minutes, something like that. It went really quick. You know, we should consider doing a video of the um, graveyard we've got over there. The graveyard? Of oh, of the, all the broken guns. The mangled gun from pieces. The children and stuff. <laughs> okay, so there's... Um, it's very, very macabre. There's the basic build. Let me see if I've got a bear guy to put it on. Um, Maybe the... Actually, seven there is seven. a bear guy solid. Oh, bear guy solid, sure. I built that. I customized that. Oh. <laughs> He's just throwing Gundam around to show you I, he I, can. It's solid. What fell and didn't break? Uh, the Easy SR. Uh... Okay, so let's see. Here's a Bear Guy song. Customized Bear Guy song. Yours truly. She's so cute. Can't even take it. I mean, it, it probably will fit. needs an adapter. No, 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 it'll fit fine. Oh, okay. Just that big head in the way. Yeah. That's. That's actually really cool. Is it? Is yeah. cool the word you'd use here? Yes, it is. I would say grotesque, but sure. <laughs> and let me take a look at it on one other kit. Let's see what I got up here. <laughs> on a kit that's not an adorable teddy bear of love. Right. Love Gundam. Actually, I'll put it on the str um, build strike. Yeah. 
So we've got a build strike here with some custom weapon pieces. Mm. And let's see. This arm's out of the way a little bit. Wow. It's actually very big on him. Yeah. Very majesty, man. Um, yeah, it's it's definitely it fits like it's it looks like it works, um, but it looks more like a, like a hang glider or something yeah. than a backpack in this case. It's it's huge, um, but the lightning Gundam is also tall. So. It looks like it should have more pieces that fan out. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that's that's actually pretty cool. Um, What's that? The strike of freedom. Uh, the strike freedom uh, that has the fan, the yeah. fans. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The the dragoon system. Freedom. Yeah. So. It works um, really well, uh, and actually, ironically, it doesn't really counterbalance the um, build strike very much. Mm. You can stand up just fine with so it. So it's, it's just the poor Lightning Gundam. Yeah, the Lightning Gundam just can't really handle it. Um, but there you go, the Lightning Back Weapon System. Mm. Simple build. Um, I think it was about 600 yen, so about five bucks. Mm. Um, I, I like it. Mm. I think it's a great little backpack, and with a little bit of paint, it could fit on pretty much anything. Yeah. Um, is a nice little modifier. Mm -hmm. um, my only sort mm. of lament with it, mm. uh, at a glance, is that it doesn't have additional adapter pieces. Like it doesn't have additional <laughs> holes, doesn't so you can add things. Yeah. It, well, for mm. uh, for other things too, you but guns. mostly. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess you could put a, tech, a second backpack on there, <laughs> yes. hanging off the back or something. Yes. I don't know. But um, no, it, it doesn't really expand any further than this. Mm. Um, so that's a, a slight limitation. So you couldn't have that and the powered or... -er -er -er. No, you couldn't put the powered arms powered -er on there. <laughs> but um, the Lightning Gundam actually has a lot of adapter spots. Yeah. Um, so you can put extra stuff on the Lightning Gundam if you want to make it like big and bulky and add to it. Mm. Um and yeah, maybe that would help the balance it could it could you could actually use um additional weapons to counterbalance it i don't know but, but yeah so if you're considering this kit but you don't have the lightning gundam and you're not really sure if you want to spend that 600 yen on this particular piece for 600 yen you can get yourself a high mock and that is a good kit and we've done a review of it which yes you check out. actually the high mock um <laughs> we did a review check it out um the, the high mock um is a great really one lame. to bring up um because of that um I am so worried. You're not going to be able to toss this onto the high mock without an adapter. Yeah. Um, but there are adapters in pretty much every Build Fighters kit. Mm. Um, but he so, would look badass with that. Yeah, he would look, actually look really great. So actually, it. for for him, for the price of the two together, is the price of the same as one of the normal guys. Correct. So you can have a badass you could have custom. a high mock with a nice jetpack thing on it. So. The high mock is um, basically a testing ground for anything that you want to build with in the with the build fighter expansion kits. Um, Love that head. Yeah. So there you go. Six hundred yen. It's about a five dollar kit. Um, it's nice. It uh, is exactly what it looks like. Mm. And um, if you are interested in that sort of thing, it's kind of a no brainer. Mm. All right. If you like our stuff, like, comment, subscribe, um, and you know we do. Um, recommendations we do requests um also if you haven't noticed we've been doing a couple of discussions lately um we recently discussed g gundam at length and we're, we've been putting up um, excerpts from that and today we just uploaded a women in gundam and the feminist significance of the star winning gundam video that um, cause internet fights right so um if you want us to talk about other topics and deconstruct things other than just gunpla let us know Matane, everyone. Matane. Dite Matane. Matane.